Hey y'all, welcome back to Mama's Kitchen and today we're using one of the most delicious fall fruits that there is, butternut squash, which I love. I've got a fantastic recipe for a butternut squash fall salad in my cookbook, Jamie Dean's Good Food, if you wanna check that out. But today we're doing a simple pan-seared squash. Let me tell you what this is. Corn and butternut squash side recipe. Now to get this started, I've got probably two pieces of bacon that I've cooked in here and I'm gonna add in our onions. So I just cooked the bacon before y'all got here because that's kind of boring. And I'm gonna cook these onions down for just about two minutes. But first of all, let me tell you about the day. My son, Jack Dean, drove himself to school. I ain't here for none of it. My shirt's wrinkly, my nerves are shot. Of course I followed him the whole way to school in my car. There's a lot of merging and trafficking and stuff. And Jack's only three years old. How is he driving himself to school? I don't like it. I do not like it. I do not like it. I'm proud of him. He's a good driver and he's earned it. Any of y'all out there got kids that are starting to drive right now? I was just getting comfortable with everything. Oh, and my two-year-old filled up a diaper yesterday like a champion. So I've got that. And then I've got my kid saying, Dad, where's my car keys? I'll say a prayer for me. I've got these onions cooked down for just a second. Now I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter to this. You think, oh, well, you got bacon grease in there and then you're gonna add all that butter? Because butternut squash is such a dense vegetable, a gourd, it's gonna take a little bit of time for that to cook down. So once this butter gets, it's going pretty good. Now I'm gonna add our butternut squash. Now this, y'all, is gonna take about 20 minutes for it to brown up and soften up, and I'm not gonna subject y'all to this. Unless you'd like to stick around for 20 more minutes and hear me complain about my son driving his car. How about we take a quick break and we come back? This will be done, and I'll be a little bit more relaxed, okay? Thanks, y'all. Look here, y'all. We're back in the pot. Now you see how this is brown? Man, that looks fantastic. To this, I'm gonna add a little bit of this is thawed frozen corn kernels. Now all I have to do with this corn is heat it up. So just a few minutes in the pan. Let's start back over where we started now. We got some butter, some bacon. We got our acorn squash and it's cooked down pretty good. So I'm gonna be very gentle with this. It's like when you're making potato salad, if you're not careful, you'll be making a bowl of mashed potatoes instead of potato salad. So I don't want to beat these acorn squash up too much to where they cream out on me. I want them to keep, to hold their consistency. So that's it for stirring as far as this goes. This corn is going to heat up really quick for me. Y'all, oh, this is going to be good. Now this is an interesting part of this. I've got dry mustard. So we're going to add our dry mustard in here. And the very last thing that I'm going to add is some fresh cut basil. We have built a dish here that has so many different flavors. I really can't wait to try it. With our fresh basil turned in here now, look how pretty that is. This is a really neat side dish that you can serve any time of the year, but it really does spring and fall. Turn this off. I'm gonna use a slotted spoon because we did start with a good bit of lubrication under there. And if there is any remaining butter or bacon grease, I wanna keep that out of my serving dish. So pretty with the colors and all the texture. Corn, bacon, and acorn squash. Fall really holds a lot of my favorite things. Memories from when I was young, college football, and food. Love, love, love all the taste of fall. You know, it's not an episode with me unless I burn my mouth. Oh, not too bad. Mmm, y'all. It's so hard to describe all the flavors and the texture. This is really a home run dish that I hope y'all will try at home. I'm Jamie Dean, and this is Good Food. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see y'all around the kitchen. Yum. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, 
and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.